In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to configure the Buddy Panel in Buddy Boss Theme 2.0. The Buddy Panel is this menu area in the side panel of the theme. It's a great place for adding links to help your members find important content in your community. In Buddy Boss 2.0, we've added the ability to use sections in the Buddy Panel, allowing for better organization of your menus. Sections also help to provide a unified experience with Buddy Boss app, which also uses sections to divide content in menus. In Buddy Boss 2.0, we've also added a new Buddy Panel Gutenberg block, which can be placed into any widget area. The content in this block is the same as what's in the normal Buddy Panel. You could place this block into widget areas around the theme and then turn off the Buddy Panel from showing in the sidebar if you want a more simplified layout. So now let's jump into the WordPress admin so I can show you how to configure the Buddy Panel options in Buddy Boss theme. Here we are in the WordPress admin at Buddy Boss Theme Options Buddy Panel. And from here, we can configure all of the Buddy Panel options. However, before you explore all of these Buddy Panel options, the first thing you'll want to do is to assign a WordPress menu to be used as the menu in the Buddy Panel. To do that, you'll head over to Appearance Menus. And from here, you can create a new menu by clicking on Create a New Menu. And I'll call this menu Buddy Panel. And then we need to assign this menu to one of these Buddy Panel display locations. We have two Buddy Panel locations, one for logged in users and another for logged out users. If you want to display the same menu to both logged in and logged out users, just assign the menu to both locations. Alternatively, you could create two different menus and assign one to each location. For now, I'll assign this menu to both locations. And then let's click Create Menu. And now let's add some menu items. I recommend using these Buddy Boss items. These are all logged in links, meaning they are for the logged in user and relative to that user's content. And so these items are perfect for adding into the Buddy Panel. Let's add Profile, Notifications and Messages. And we can also add documents, photos, and videos. And you can see that for these top level menus, we automatically add icons for you. You can just click here to add an icon or to change the currently assigned icon. In Buddy Boss 2.0, we've introduced an entirely new icon pack with close to 500 new icons and each with multiple icon styles. We have another tutorial explaining how to use all of the options in the new Buddy Boss 2.0 icon pack, so make sure to watch that video if you're interested. I'll leave this icon as the default for now. And then let's also add some sections into this menu. You can see we have this new option for Buddy Panel Sections. From here we can add sections. Let's add two and I can move them around. I'll put this one above profile and this one here. And I'll rename them. I'll call this one personal. And I'll call this one media. And let's click save menu. And now let's go see how this looks on the front end. I'll click to refresh. And so now we have our buddy panel with the menus and icons displaying. And we can see the menus are nicely organized by sections. If I click on this profile menu, you can see it as a relative logged in link taking me into my own profile. So now that we have our menu set up, let's configure the buddy panel theme options. This first option is to toggle the Buddy Panel on or off in the sidebar area. I could use this to disable the Buddy Panel from displaying in the main theme layout. For example, if I wanted to use the Buddy Panel Gutenberg block instead of having the side panel. 
And this next option is to move the logo from your header into the buddy panel. Let's turn this on and I'll click save changes. And now let's see how that looks on the front end. And we can see the logo has been moved into the buddy panel. This is really useful if you have a large logo that would not fit nicely inside of the smaller header area. The logo has a lot more room here in the buddy panel. And if I close the buddy panel, you can see the logo collapses into a smaller version in the buddy panel. This bigger logo, the same one that was previously in the header, comes from these logo settings. Whatever you set as the desktop logo displays in the header, or if moved into the buddy panel, it shows in the open buddy panel. And when we close the buddy panel, the smaller logo comes from your site icon, the same icon that displays in the browser tab. You can set this at appearance customize, and then click on site identity. And from there, you can update your site icon. And then using this buddy panel position option, we could optionally move the buddy panel to the right side of the theme, but I'll leave it on the left side for now. This next option allows us to configure if the buddy panel can be toggled open or closed, or if it needs to always remain in its current state. Let's disable it and I'll click save changes. And let's go see how this looks in the front end. And now the buddy panel can no longer be toggled open or closed. It is permanently in this closed state. I could change it to be permanently in the open state by coming back into our theme options and changing the buddy panel default state to open. And I'll click save changes. And let's go see how this looks in the front end. And now the buddy panel is permanently opened. So now let me show you how to use the Gutenberg block to place the buddy panel into your widget areas. Let's add the buddy panel into this widget area. To do that, I'll go into appearance widgets and I'll open this widget area for activity directory right. And let's click here to add the buddy panel block. I can search for the block and select it and I'll move it to the top above the other widgets and let's click update. And now let's go to the front end and we can refresh the page. And now we have our buddy panel block echoing the same menus and sections as our regular buddy panel. If you set different menus for logged in versus logged out buddy panel locations, then when viewing the site while logged out, this block will use the logged out buddy panel menu instead. And since we have a buddy panel block in our sidebar, we might want to disable the buddy panel from the side panel now also. And again, to do that, we can go into the WordPress admin and go into buddy boss theme options. And in the buddy panel settings, we can disable the buddy panel from displaying. And I'll click save changes. And then let's go refresh the front end. And now we have this more minimal theme style with the buddy panel content only showing in the widget areas that we place it into.